Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be covering the best settings to optimize your performance, get better FPS in Wuthering Waves new version 2.6 dropped recently. This guide will be covering all of the best windows and game settings so make sure to stick around until the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings. And for that, simply head over to settings on your PC and then click on personalization. Head down to colors and over here you have to scroll a bit down and find transparency effects. You're gonna have to turn this thing off and this will make your windows appear less translucent. If I turn it on, you guys can see that now I can see the background of my PC. But if I turn this thing off, it will just go opaque. That's better and it saves a bit of performance on your PC. Then click on gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off since it consumes a lot of resources in the background as it is an overlay service. After that, click on the gaming button again, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will help you to disable unwanted services in the background that will help you to optimize your games. Now, click on the graphics button and then you wanna have to enable optimizations for Windows games as it will help you to reduce input latency and use advanced features to optimize your gaming experience. Click on the advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling because this will utilize your physical graphic card over your software based graphics to optimize your FPS. Then you wanna have to click on add desktop app button over here and then go to the download location of your game. If you're unaware of it, right click on your game, head over to its properties, then click on install files and then you wanna have to click on the browse button button over here. This will take you to the download location of your game. You're gonna have to head over to Wuthering Waves game. Over here you have to head over to client binaries win64 and then you'll find client win64 shipping.exe. Once you find the client win64 shipping you're gonna have to click on this and then press ctrl c to copy that. Come back to your settings and then click on the add desktop app button. Paste this location over here. Select client win64 shipping.exe and then click on the add button. If that is already added you're gonna have to scroll down and select it. For the GPU preference, select your graphic card and make sure that this is set to high performance. It will disable all kind of power saving features while you are playing the game to optimize your performance. Once that is done, simply close your settings. Before moving ahead, I want to tell you guys that Wuthering Waves is a really heavy game and if you guys are playing it on a hard disk drive, possible chances are that you might be facing performance issues. And for that, I want to introduce you guys to 40DIG's Partition Manager, which is a one-stop shop solution if you guys are migrating your operating system or your games from a hard disk drive to an SSD. Simply come to its official website and over here click on the free download button. 40DIG Partition Master offers you a wide variety of features which includes cloning disk, migrating your operating system or applications, taking a backup of your computer, convert your disk from MBR to GPT or GPT to MBR. Then it has partition management if you guys want to create a separate volume for your games or if you guys want to resize your partitions. Other than that, it also offers partition recovery if you guys have lost a partition or your important data and if you guys want to upgrade your windows from 10 to 11. It also offers you a series of toolkit which will help you to optimize the performance of your disk drives. Today I want to focus on cloning our disk which includes our game from a hard disk drive to an SSD. For that you have to click on clone disk and head over to clone partition. Over here you wanna have to select your disk which has your game installed. For example I have my game in the F drive as we have seen earlier. Select disk 2 which has the F drive over here since it is a hard disk drive. Simply select F and then you wanna have to shift it to another disk. Disk 4 consists of my SSD and it has about 500 GBs left. And then you wanna have to choose the volume in which you wanna have to copy this game. Select next and it says that there is no available space. In that case, you can use partition management. Once you've selected your correct source and the correct target, click on next and it will do the task in literally 10 to 15 minutes. It's as simple as that. Once again, 40DIG Partition Manager offers wide variety of features which you guys can go and check it out for yourself and use this application to optimize your drives and gain advantage in your games. 
I have left a free download link to 40DIG's partition manager right in the description below. Go check it out for yourself and let me know. Now moving ahead. Next step is compatibility settings. And for that, you're gonna have to go to the download location of your game. Once you're over here, right click on your exe file and then click on the properties button. Head over to compatibility and select disable full screen optimizations. This will help you to reduce input latency. After that, select change high DPI settings and click on override high DPI scaling behavior. Click on OK and then OK once again. Once that's done, simply close it. Next step is disabling background applications. And if you guys are using Windows Pro, this step will be very easy for you. Simply search for edit group policy over here, press enter. Then head over to computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy, and right over here, you'll find let Windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and make sure that this policy is set to enable. Then default for all applications should be set to force deny. And this will force deny all of the applications as per the policy. Click on OK and close it. Next step is updating your graphic card drivers. I personally use NVIDIA graphic card, but if you guys use AMD graphics or Intel graphics, simply open up the corresponding application. For NVIDIA users, you have to open up NVIDIA GeForce Experience or NVIDIA app. Over here, head down to the drivers section and make sure that you're using the latest version of your graphic card drivers. This is because the new update covers the Wuthering Waves DLSS 4 with multi-frame generation update. This will significantly help you to boost your FPS. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then search for your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it Wuthering Waves just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your game settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is Wuthering Waves V2.6 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Simply double click to open it up and you'll find in seven simple folders. Now this might seem a lot but it's really simple and helpful and I would highly recommend you guys not to skip it. Head over to the first folder which is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. If you guys have an Intel CPU like me, double click and apply the Intel CPU priority and this will set the correct D word values for your processor to optimize its performance. And similarly, the AMD CPU priority does it for the AMD processor. Second folder over here is RAM optimization, which helps you to optimize the performance of your RAM. And to select it, you have to find the RAM that you're using on your PC. I am using 32 GB, so I need to double click and apply this one. I have already done that. You can select your RAM from this preset and double click to apply that. Once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can always reset it back to default using this registry. Third folder over here is Wuthering Waves Priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Fourth one is Disable Unwanted Services in which I have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless and they are consuming a lot of your system's resources while you're playing your games and disabling them will help you to optimize your PC much better. Again, if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave these two as it is and disable every single one of them over here as this will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. And once again, if you want to revert any of them back again, double click to open up the revert registries folder and turn them back on. Fifth folder over here is the power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. If you guys do not have this power plan already, right click on it and run it as administrator. This will run a PowerShell command on your PC that you guys can see right over here. Once that is done, double click to open up power options and over here head over to show additional plans in this you'll find ultimate performance plan which should be listed right over here this power plan will disable all kind of power saving features on your hardware to use them on full throttle for extra performance note that this might cause heating issues but if you guys have good ventilation across your pc or your laptop this would work absolutely fine if you guys are facing any kind of overheating issues and you do not want that, select high performance and it does basically the same thing but on a little lower scale. Sixth folder over here is a new one that is GPU priority in which I have left low med optimization and med high optimization. So how this works is if you guys have a GTX equivalent graphic card, it could be up to GTX 1660 and even the lower series of your RTX graphic card like RTX 2060, 
2070, you guys can double click and apply the low med optimization. And if you guys have RTX 30 series and higher equivalent to that in the AMD or Intel graphics, double click and apply the med high optimization. Now it doesn't really matter much. Start with the low med optimization and see if your game performs better and then apply med high optimization and see if it performs better. Once again, these are the same registries and it overrides each other so you guys can check which one works best for you. Last is the programs folder in which I have left three very simple programs. The first one is clean temporary files which as it says it cleans your temporary files on your PC. Right click on that and run it as administrator. This will open up a simple command prompt in front of you. Press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary files, prefetch files right off your PC which is absolutely for the benefit of the performance of your PC. Once that's done, press enter to close it. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click on it as administrator. Over here, you have to look for your graphic card. Simply find it, click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority, select high. Click on the apply button and this will ensure that your graphic card can handle more interrupts without overclocking it. And it will also optimize the performance of your GPU as well. Next is quick CPU setup. This is a setup file. Double click and install quick CPU on your PC and simply open it up. Search for quick CPU. And once it opens up, what you guys have to do over here is slide your core parking index, frequency scaling index, turbo boost index and performance index all the way up to 100% and click on the apply button. This will disable core parking on your PC, which is an essential feature offered by Windows to put the unused cores to sleep mode to save power. Once again, while you're playing your games, this is not necessary and keeping all of your cores enabled will in most cases help you to perform better. Once that is done, you can simply close it and simply close the FES pack. Next step is msconfig and for that press Windows and R key together and then type in msconfig over here and this will open up system configuration. Simply head over to the boot section, click on advanced option, click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor over here. Click on the OK button and select no GUI boot. Once that is done, click on the apply button, then head over to the services tab and then click on hide all Microsoft services. Now over here, I would recommend you guys to disable all kind of RGB, fan control service, browser update service and any other service that you feel is unnecessary and you do not use it right after you boot your PC because these services will be running in the background and consuming your precious resources and disabling these services would still mean that you can use it if you want to run them. Until then, they would be turned off and you would be using less processes on your PC, which is always beneficial. Once all of that is done, click on the OK button and then you're going to have to restart your PC. Once you've restarted your PC, head over to your best in-game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then you're going to head over to the settings care. Come down to the second option which says graphics quality and over here set this thing to custom. For the screen mode, you guys can select full screen over here and then for the global filter you guys can adjust it and set it according to your pc now i personally prefer vivid because it gives the best color quality and once that's done simply click on the apply button after that you're gonna have to scroll a bit down and you'll have to find your frame rate over here if your pc allows you can select 120 fps as it is much more smoother than the normal 60 fps but you guys have to set the highest available setting over here for vsync i would highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off because it limits your fps for the special effects quality you guys can go with low or medium both of them works absolutely fine i would prefer low shadow quality once again go with low lod bias low over here as well capsule ao just turn this thing off volumetric fog and lighting these are the major fps impacting properties set this thing to off along with the motion blur anti-aliasing you're gonna have to keep this thing on bloom is a personal preference however it consumes a bit of your gpu so if you guys get better fps with it off i would recommend you guys to go with off but i personally prefer it on crowd density go with low because this will reduce rendering load on your pc then for enemy hit flash keep it on damage numbers on physics based animations off cutscene i have gone with letterbox co-op teammate vfx off wounded effects on interactive environment on foliage fade out on and auto exposure on along with that if you guys have an nvidia graphics card enable dlss 
to use it for your preference for the super resolution you guys can go with performance or balance both of them works absolutely fine however you guys can increase it if you prefer better graphics over fps now here is a comparison i have gone with balance i'm just gonna go back and just show you the game how it looks like on balance the fps is constantly 120 and there's no significant loss however if you turn this thing up you guys will feel a little bit of stutter as you move so i have kept it to balance and then for the ray tracing go with off once all of that is done you guys can now go back and enjoy your game with the highest fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel we are already very close to 250,000 subscribers and i trust you all to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching Verifox and peace out